Welcome to the Everyman's Auto video review of the Subaru Outback 2012 2.5 liter four cylinder boxer engine. It turns out some amount of horsepower. I don't I don't know how much. It's not on the sticker. I didn't do very good research on this one. But let's assume it's more than four. We'll go with that, more than four. Base price for a Subaru Outback is $23,295. As driven today, $31,707. So we've added about eight grand to our base price just in our test drive today. Obviously, I'm a fan of all-wheel drive, considering I, I rock the Yukon XL Denali as my daily driver. Uh, it's got a big V8 all-wheel drive. Um, if I needed to come down from that and still have functional space, all-wheel drive, but looking for fuel economy, this is my likely landing place. And from what I can tell, not bad so far. So far. The 2.5 liter engine that has more than four horsepower, which we established, probably less than 300, more than four, somewhere in there. Uh, it gets 22 miles to the gallon in the city and about 29 on the highway, which for an all weather wagon, not bad, not bad. In the uh, left-hand corner of the instrument panel, I have an MPG meter. Doesn't give me a number, just gives me a plus green, good, white, mid-range, that's the yellow line, watch out for it. And at the very bottom, it doesn't go red, but it goes yellow for caution. You have, you have negative MPGs, it has a negative sign down there. But, I, I mean, you're always gonna have positive MPG numbers, you can't actually have a negative number. If anything, you'd be zero. But how can you take miles away? Why a negative? I guess you're trying to say it's bad connotations to drive the car down there. Quick MPG update, 31.5 so far, hanging out at the highway speeds. We are now driving towards the city of Tracy. I should own it. Maybe I'll ask, maybe I do own it. Maybe I'm missing out on revenue. That sucks. As you can hear, the sound system's pretty good. It's uh, the Harman Kardon uh, upgraded audio system, which is probably why this car is 31,000 when the base is only 23. Um, as well as the nine speakers that, that come with that. You also end up with eight cup holders. Eight, eight cup holders. What would I do with eight cup holders? If I had to pick an all-wheel drive vehicle to replace my big Denali, I wouldn't get some of the options that are on here because I don't want to spend $31,000 on it. But if the vehicle performance didn't change, I'd take one of these. If I could get one in the mid-20s, low to mid-20s, I'd absolutely take a new Outback. The mileage is good. It's not great, but it's good. I mean, you can get you can get pretty pretty good mileage on the highway. Utility-wise, I've got four four doors. Uh, I've got multiple latch systems for the kids and a spacious trunk. 
that will fit a double stroller. And for me, personally, with two boys, that's a big deal. I don't want to carry both boys everywhere. I want to be able to push them in something that's, that's simple. And while this car does ride well, this road sucks. Sucks. I've never experienced a car that had more leg room for the driver. Like I've, I've got the steering wheel full telescope. And you can just start sliding this chair back. It just, just keeps going. I mean, this is all the way back. This is, I feel like I'm sitting in the back seat almost. It's a great driving position. My legs are almost fully extended and I'm 6'4". Like that's the most comfortable my legs have ever been in a car. Huh. That's it for uh, this week's Everyman's Auto video review. Hoping you enjoyed the Subaru Outback and uh, hopefully we'll see you next week with something more exciting. Hopefully.